do nothing. You're already doing nothing. Live into that state. Um, shanti, shanti, shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Um, Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. <clears throat> Bring your awareness or the mind on the right hand. Be there, experience the change. <clears throat> Bring your mind to the left hand. Raise both your palms, place it on your eyes. Open the eyes inside. Know your experiences. Bring the hands down. We learn from your our experiences. And after that, if you have any questions, Sam is smiling. How are you, Sam? can you hear me yes okay cool um i was smiling because a few interesting things happened today um obviously uh david jury uh, uncle steven know this but i'm a um bilateral amputee i wear prosthetics to walk and one thing that was interesting when we were doing the body checks was i was able to feel all of the nerves in my feet again as if they were there wiggling my toes moving around my ankles it wasn't there which was really cool Good. um interesting yeah and then there was just a nice um blanket of warmth i had while while we were meditating and i was just sitting here with no thoughts other than wow i'm not thinking about anything right now i'm just hanging out and that was I think probably the first time since we've done this I've actually not had not had any thoughts any movement and just completely yeah. content Beautiful. And nothing was even trying to enter my headspace so you see that quiet mind is a happy mind yeah so even if you are hanging with your friends keep the mind quiet yeah. <laughs> happy Absolutely. <answer. laughs> That's a beautiful understanding. You know, we must understand. Not a blind, you know, fade, you know, okay, you have given me, you have a long beard, so you are a great meditator. No way. <laughs> <laughs> so that should not happen. <laughs> you should follow the intellect and the practice. Wonderful. So, how are you, Stephen? <laughs> oh, oh, I'm good. Um, a, a great message. Uh, I enjoyed the lesson. Uh, <clears throat> I, um, it resonated with me from the moment that you said, let's uh, start the, the practice. Um, it, it all just connected. Um, it to me the whole meditation was was a, a quiet mind that was the perfect words that you chose for it um there was no thoughts whatsoever there were times in which i felt myself just checking in and saying okay i'm in meditation um i hear garisha's voice i am very it, i have a quiet mind and that makes me very happy and beautiful and and it just to the very end so thank that's you. That's beautiful. Now we should always ask this question 24 by 7, especially in a waking state. Ask your mind, is my mind quiet? And then start living into that state. Why? Quiet mind is a happy mind. Even 
there is too much of noise you are in a store thousands of people are there you are in a mob still your mind can remain quiet that is what the art of meditation is so how are you shall be I feel, I feel good. I feel like my body um, was really heavy. That's good. It became heavier throughout. Um, and, and I just felt a sense of calm. And then there's a point where it's as if like my body doesn't exist. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's like I'm Yes, that makes a sense. No countries actually exist. It exists in the form of a word, in a language. You see that? Just see that. Similarly, this body, this breath, this mind, this intellect exist for the sake of transactional reality, like the waves. One aspect is very important, and you are young, so that's why I must give you another message it does not mean that oh the body does not exist so i'm free no that's a wrong approach the moment we are living in the material world material world the body is matter we start acting and behaving in the same way the way the matter behaves but definitely, this is a deeper experience when you see the body as if does not exist. U.S. as if does not exist on the earth, as if. But for transactional reality, oh, let us live there. So now it is our life is not supported by the ego sense. It is supported by the one consciousness. That is what the meditation is. How are you, David and Jerry? A lot of people could not join. I think you know this is a new link. But anyhow, that is the that is what happens. Yes, David. <laughs> um, very, very great uh, meditation for me. The um, the message was excellent. Um, but what I found at the beginning is. I was noticing these thoughts and they were like weighing me down. So I said, I'm going to get rid of these thoughts. And I started getting rid of them. And it was like a hot air balloon. I just got lighter and lighter and lighter. And then um, it was a, the rest of it was just very light. There was zero thoughts. And I thought this meditation was like six minutes long. <laughs> it was <laughs> really, uh, really interesting. That is another beautiful experience. Whether you say that you see that, uh, I see the same message by the Shelby and the Sam and the David. The David uh, expressions are different. The moment you drop the identification with the body, there is no time and space. Time and space only exist because I am the body. You see that? So we, we are undergoing, we are doing the practice every week, so the greater... Uh, we'll find that all these experiences come to one that's beautiful. How are you, Jerry? I'm good. The um, meditation for me was all about the space. So that's I good. heard you, but it was just the space. Like when you asked us to focus on different areas, I really was only seeing the space. I wasn't... Yeah, I must, uh, I also, yeah, let me talk a little bit. Uh, just ask your mind. I become aware of the infinite space, what it means. <clears throat> I give you a clue and think it over this week. The space is awareness and the awareness is space. <laughs> There cannot be the infinite space without awareness. What is that space? This is awareness. And what is awareness? This is all space. 
according to the teaching of the Eastern wisdom. I'm not going to the science. Otherwise, what will happen? Uh, those scientists will create a, even a hole in the consciousness. <laughs> there is no hole in the consciousness. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But, I have studied physics and science, you know, I have a fascination for it. But this, let the science focus on the objective reality. Our goal is to find the subjective reality, who am I? And stop there. How are you, my friend, uh, Terry? Um, I was... It was also really quick for me. It didn't seem long. That's good. I, yeah, I was battling the. Um, I could see that. The thing that is try, the thing that's trying to. Um, it, it's tr it's like it, it feels to me like it's trying to make me to force me to identify with the body, and I was trying to maintain my identifying with my real self that's good and i had this thought that um had mostly i let my thoughts go but a couple of them really stuck with me um and one was that what was it <laughs> oh no um one I thought was like that if you were for some reason i saw my i saw like it, oh, one lesson you talked about the pot, you know, and I and I, I was thinking about the pot, like a ceramic pot, yes. pot. Yes. But I was thinking like if it was a glass. I don't know why I'm saying this. I just thought it. If it was a glass globe or something, and you just broke it, then yeah. everything would. And that was your your physical world, and then it would just be gone. I like be, it. Right? I really like it. So that was the birds and the sky and the highway and the standing back. That's what came to my mind during that part. That's a deeper state. Even, you see that? We have to... The Terry gives us a clue, an idea, an opportunity that let the time come even if the body is moving and you can still live into that state of meditation. Oh, I was wondering if, like, if somebody came into your house while you were meditating and started beating you up, could you, like, maintain that state? Yes, you can maintain. <laughs> Why you can maintain? K 